Hi, I'm Veronica Yu. I'm your nutritionist and functional medicine health coach. Today's question is, what fats can I eat? What is a good fat? Fats and oils can be used for two ways. The one is for cold dish. The other one is for cooking. The best quality fats and oils are minimally refined, cold pressed, organic, and non-GMO. I picked the good fat for you. The first is butter. Mmm, butter tastes so good. Who doesn't like butter? Any dishes you add butter, it makes it taste even better. But I didn't choose butter because it tastes good. I choose butter because there are many health benefits for you. The first, it contains vitamin A. So it's good for vision and it supports thyroid, adrenal gland, and cardiovascular health. And number two, it contains high in omega-3. So it reduces inflammation in your body. But if you get conventional butter, you don't get much omega-3. When you get organic grass-fed butter, you get much omega-3. And number three, butter contains butyrate. Butyrate is that uh, you can find in short-chain fatty acid. It's excellent for gut health. Let's say, um, usually I always tell you eat a lot of vegetable. I encourage you to have vegetable. Vegetable, there is a vitamins, minerals, and fibers. Let's say you have vegetable. You're feeding those fiber to your gut bugs. So your microbiome eat those fibers and then after it convert to butyrate. Why do people call butyrate? Because it smells like a butter. And the butyrate, it protect gut lining and it prevent obesity. And also it reduces inflammation in your gut. And also it stimulate the T cell. So it boosts your immune function as well. And also butter contains selenium. Selenium is well known for protecting your body from free radical damage. That's excellent. And also butter contains iodine. Iodine is famous for supporting your thyroid gland functions. And also butter contains CLA. CLA is uh, excellent. Many people, they take a supplement because it's well known for uh, burning fat. So actually it helps to uh, reduce your belly fat and it also supports muscle growth and against the cancer. And also butter contains vitamin D and vitamin K2. If you're the person that taking supplement when it's a gray day, it's not you know sunny, and vitamin D3 and then K2, you're very smart because they work together. And butter has it all. Butter contains vitamin D and vitamin K2. So it actually helps to increase your bone density. So butter is excellent. But you're gonna say, but Veronica, I'm I'm vegetarian. Don't worry if you're vegan or if you have a lactose intolerance, you can have um, key instead of butter. It's a clarified butter. So also it's great, you know, on high heat. So you can use as a cooking oil. So you use that also still, you keep the, all those nutrients because it doesn't uh, get oxidized on heat. So you can use the key instead. And number two, I picked a good fat for you. Coconut oil. Have you ever heard of MCT oil? MCT means a medium chain triglycerides. So coconut oil is a medium chain uh, essential fatty acid. And this is excellent for regulating your cholesterol level. Like uh, what it means is like we have a HDL and LDL. So it's a coconut oil raising HDL. We know for good fat. Like HDL is a people think it's a good fat and it decreases LDL. People call this bad fat. Anyway, it's they work with the ratio. So coconut oil regulates the cholesterol level and also it's easy to metabolize in the liver. It's excellent. 
and most importantly, coconut oil is a precursor for beta hydroxybutyrate. Beta hydroxybutyrate is a super duper fuel for your brain. It's excellent. And also, remember this one, many people, they are on ketogenic diet, they take coconut oil, right? It's because it's like a help to make more ketones. So, if uh, it's a crucial for the actually ketogenic diet or the ketogenic approach diet, like if you go for a mitochondria diet. And I don't think I never run out with uh, coconut oil. Because also, it's excellent cooking oil. It doesn't get oxidized on high heat. So you can cook with it. You know, sometimes when I want to make some light fried food, I use coconut oil instead. So you can use that. Also, if you're a fan of a coconut um, flavor, you can actually use it. If, if you love baking, you just shredded coconut flake. You can use that. Also, coconut milk is excellent. And... Let's say you buy the young coconut, you chop on the top, you drain the coconut water. It's excellent to electrolyze your body. At the same time, um, don't throw it out with the coconut meat inside. You just scoop coconut meat out and you can chop it and add it into your salad. Also, you can freeze them and then after you can actually make a coconut yogurt as well. So coconut is like, I think it's a super food. So that good. And the last finale I pick a good fat for you is the unfiltered extra virgin olive oil. When you think about olive oil, what, what do you think? It's a Mediterranean diet, right? Yes, it is. Olive oil is, the, is excellent. And it's especially, it contains antioxidant, phytonutrient, it's called polyphenol. Polyphenol is well known for the anti-inflammatory benefit. So it's that even though olive oil is um, omega-6, it doesn't really bring the inflammation because of the polyphenol. It's like uh, content in that phytonutrient. And olive oil, um, it's a great for actually, it's a help to your support your heart health. And then it is uh, capable of fighting free radical damage as well. But when you, you're going to tell me, Veronica, I'm already using olive oil. Yes, but it is important how to select the best quality of olive oil and how to use them. Because olive oil, is, uh, it gets oxidized on heat. So you don't want to use for cooking. You should use olive oil for cold dish. Like um, when you make a salad, you can just uh, diesel on the top or you can make a salad dressing like adding some balsamic vinegar or apple cider vinegar even you can add some spices and herbs and then you mix together you make a salad dressing you can use that or you cooked pre-cooked those like uh, let's say steam the vegetable and you have some other food and then when it's cooled down then you can diesel on the top olive oil so that way you get a full benefit of that nutrient from olive oil. And another thing, when you want to buy olive oil, please don't like don't get just the olive oil. Like I don't I don't want to say don't get, but like, try not to get because um, it's the um, best way to get is the cold pressed, unfiltered olive oil because that actually have all this nutrient value in it. If you get just a, a regular olive oil, it's um, actually the research they reported, like uh, most just regular olive oil, they add uh, vegetable oil or uh, canola oil, they kind of water down those quality of olive oil. So you're not really getting 100% olive oil. So get that, so once you get those unfiltered, cold pressed, extra virgin olive oil, you are going to uh, keep the store uh, in the dark glass container and avoid the light. That's very important. So that's how you have to keep the olive oil. So that and then what else? Um, yeah, also I'm going to tell you um, all the nuts and seeds, they are great. Especially, let's say, walnuts. 
almonds, macadamia nuts, and a seed like a flax seed, and the flax seed even oil, and all those nuts butter, they are excellent as well. And remember this one, especially I'm fan of using a flax seed, the ground one, because it's a high in fiber, it's a high in omega-3, and at the same time, um, when you use them, do not ever cook with it because it's highly oxidized on heat. So what you can do, even just to keeping in room temperature, it can easily rinse it. So once you purchase the flaxseed oil or a ground flaxseed meal, you keep in the refrigerator or freezer. That's the best way to keep it. And other stuff, when you get those uh, nuts and seeds, try not to get heavily salted. If you like a little bit salt, try to get like a sea salt or uh, Himalayan salt in those um, uh, nuts and seed. That's the best bet. And myself, I like to get just raw and unsalted one. And I love that. And myself, I, my favorite nuts is macadamia nuts because um, it tastes so good. And same time, where are you going to get the omega-7? Yes, there is omega-9 as well, long chain fatty acid in macadamia nuts. But omega-7 actually, it enhances omega-3. So it's a great um, snack. And then I actually add in my salad as well. So you can use macadamia nut as well. And all those uh, nut butters are good. Like let's say almond butter and cashew butter and even um yeah a little bit of peanut butter but if you're gonna have a peanut butter it's uh, high in omega-6 so i suggest you to have a minimum portion and then try to get the um, organic like I, I told you so that so that's it for today